Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to be talking about selections. So I received a comment, this one right here, asking to cover how to combine selection methods. So this is a good question. Um, there's many different selection methods in ACDC, and you can do basically two things with selections. One, you can make a mask, which isolates a part of your image. And then the second thing you can do is you can make a selection and then apply an adjustment layer uh, to whatever you've selected. S selections are very powerful in ACDC and selections are uh, principally what sort of transitions you to working more with photographic art rather than just uh, directly editing your photos. So today let's combine two different selection methods and sort of just outline how to use them to create a mask. Let's get started. I want to isolate the basketball and the hand from the background. To do this, we need to make a selection. Different selection methods have different strengths. Before I begin, I'm going to navigate to Select Overlay Options and ensure that mine is set to Selection Highlighted. I'll click OK. We'll start by selecting the hand. It will be more difficult of the two selections. Let's review our selection methods. Selection methods are located at the top of menu bar following the move tools. They are the selection brush, polygonal selection tool, rectangular selection, elliptical selection, lasso, and magic wand. In general, I recommend the selection brush or the polygonal selection tool for more complicated manual selections. We'll use the brush selection tool for the hand, as the hand doesn't have that many flat edges. It's more rounded, which requires the brush. Let's zoom way in. When I click the selection brush tool, you'll notice some settings pop up. These are important. Strength. Strength refers to the degree to which the selection is applied. A low strength will leave more transparency, and a high strength will leave no transparency. In other words, it will be fully opaque. In general, I always leave the strength set to 100. I would recommend leaving it at 100 until you fully understand the brush selection tool. Smart brushing. Smart brushing turned off allows you to select what your cursor covers. Smart brushing turned on selects what your cursor covers, but also considers the color or brightness, or both, of the surrounding pixels. I'll turn smart brushing on to demonstrate. Smart brushing considers both brightness and color. Notice that as I color on my selection, the green of the background is omitted, even though it's within the radius of my nib width. This is because the pixel brightness and color that I've selected with my nib is different from the background. Enabling the tool to make a distinction. This is very powerful. I often use a combination of magic and smart brushing turned off. Tolerance. Tolerance determines how inclusive smart brushing is of other colors and brightnesses. A high tolerance will be less discriminatory, while a low tolerance will be much more so when determining which pixels to include in the brush selection. I'll set my tolerance quite low for a moment to demonstrate. Lastly, nib width and feathering just controls the size of your cursor and the feathering of the edge of the cursor. With that out of the way, let's select this hand. I'll reset my tolerance to maximum and make my way around the edge of the hand. Left click applies the selection and the right click unapplies it. If you select something you don't want, feel free to just right click over it to remove that selection. Take your time with manual selections.
Now that the edge is selected, I'll fill in the center. To do this, I'll simply turn off Smart Brushing, since it was only needed to avoid the edge. The hand is now selected in full, and we'll want to move onto the ball. We'll be using a very different method for this shape. But first, we need to use rulers. Navigate to View and Rulers. Zoom way in and pull a ruler onto the image preview pane from the interface on the left and the top of the screen. Simply click and drag. Place your rulers slightly within the circumference of the edge of the ball. Do this on all the sides. When you're done, you should have a box of rulers around your basketball. Navigate to the elliptical selection tool. Ensure that your selection tool is set to additive selection. If it's set to new selection, you'll lose the selection you've made of the hand. Additive selections will simply add it to whatever the current selection is, which is ideal in this case. Click on your top left guide and then drag it to your bottom right guide. You'll notice that the tool will snap to the ruler guide. Now we have an active selection of both our hand and the ball. From here, we'll click the mask button from beneath the layer panel. You'll immediately notice that the background has become a transparency. We can use the blank layer tool to add a color to the background, uh, white in this example, all I'm doing here is clicking the fill tool and filling in with white in the blank layer. You may notice that when you zoom in, you might have missed some spots or that some masking uh, details are actually needing to be cleaned up. To do this, click the mask itself next to the layer. Click the regular brush tool now, not the selection brush. Set your brush to black and white using the button right here. To add parts of your mask back, right click, and then to erase, left click. How this works is when you brush on black over a mask, it will turn that part of your mask off, effectively non-destructively erasing it. While you brush on white, it will turn that part of your mask back on, effectively showing it. I'm gonna use this black brush to make sure that I've erased all parts of my image that I missed in the selection process. Like I said earlier, good selections, manual selections, take a bit of time. So play around and feel out which combination of tools work best for you for the job you're doing. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. And most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.